Good morning, Internet. Oh, my God. Um, oh, my goodness. I can't think. It was, uh, nine months old, 22nd of December, the media, survivor. That's how I know how much water to put. I usually say the name of each tree. Sorry that I'm talking low. It's, everybody's still kind of asleep, and we're getting the princess ready. I already got her, um, her, um, book bag stuff ready. It's easy, it's just her snack. I just gotta wash some fruits, fill up her bottle of water, and, um, and make sure her computer's charged. Oh gosh, it's been raining all night. I don't really need to water the trees. Oh, look, all wet. Oh, great. It's just gonna make it that much terrible for, um, to walk to, to school. I'm gonna change my shoes. I don't wanna wear the new ones. I already did take out the garbage this morning. Um, all right, I'm just gonna get a little, just a tab of water just so you, I can make a video because I just wanna go back to the old videos that I used to make, nice and short. And uh, essentially it's kinda like nursery, except with that of plants or trees. All right. I named this one nine months and its name will keep changing. Probably be in 10 months soon. Oops, that's too much. This one is uh, oh, so wet. Uh, 22nd of, of, of October. This one is, uh, oh wow, look at the, it, look how much it's grown. The, uh, the little trunk, look how much it's grown. This one is semilla, which means seed in Spanish. And then the last one, I decided to call, it's drizzling, we're gonna need an umbrella. I decided to call Survivor because, uh, like I said, it was almost dead. And uh, I'm gonna try to find a link to the a description to the movie or the name of the movie that talks about nature and how nature always finds a way to like uh you know uh just find a way you know all right here we got survivor the old trunks are the ones that were the brown leaves which means she was about to die that one i'll probably cut next because it has no leaves but just water it a little bit Okay, well that's it. Uh, oh, and the uh, cassava root. Let's go water the cassava root. Right. I don't know if you can see me, but before I water the, the cassava plant or root, I'm gonna change uh, uh, one of my classics, the ones that were given to me by Laura, and I'm gonna put on the, uh, essentially these are my still in uh have enough soul on the bottom that, that they don't have a hole so i can walk well like right now that it's raining and not get my socks with it and um they are like they're running shoes so they're good for walking you know they're sneakers so i should do that because uh i don't want to get my classics i don't want to damage them already and then uh because i have a, a pair that my mom gave me which is not really my style but you know i do appreciate the gift definitely gotta have to be grateful but since it's not like a style that i would normally purchase or buy or wear myself you know how people always have their own style of things um I wear it on occasions, usually like when I have to look nice or something because those shoes are like, they're practically brand new. I still keep them in the box. All right, our cassava root is right out this door right here. Uh, let me unlock the door. And I've started watering it daily, but oh my goodness, 
it's instead of growing mostly where the sun this like proved me wrong in regarding to like plants growing like where the sun facing but see i don't like the look of some of these leaves see and there's one over there look over there look at all those i don't know why i've been watering it like daily now and i thought i'm gonna double check on the internet to make sure that uh that just to double check and make sure there's another website that mentions uh that cassava roots need to be watered daily as well because i may be over watering it without knowing it i don't know and like i was telling my dad yesterday i have no idea how the uh that plant works because you have to pull the root out of the ground once it's ready to be to give fruit i guess you could call it even though it's not fruit the root uh oh and by the way if you eat yucca uh it is more dense with uh calories than like rice so it's a very good food option for people who are on a tight budget you just boil it i don't know add salt i have no idea you could look it up on this device that you're watching me on and um there you go you just pack yourself uh, a good amount of calories for a little bit a little bit amount of food and um yeah that's it all right it's uh 0, 7, 25 hours which means that some that uh, normally we have had already left or are getting ready to leave so we should be getting ready to leave let me check on the princess thanks for watching and that's my video for today i think maybe i'll make another one but I know that in two days time, I'm going to probably shoot my last video, like I said earlier. And after Argentina wins the World Cup. All right. Thanks.